ancient races, Gog and Magog. There is an evil human-like horde of creatures locked inside the earth, waiting to be released on mankind. The story starts with Alexander the Great, a righteous ruler and conqueror whose kingdom stretched across the world. In the Quran, he is known as Dhul Karnan, the possessor of two horns, believed to be a disciple of the Egyptian god Amon. During Alexander's reign, a primitive tribe in the northeast corner of the world begged the king for protection against the Gog and Magog. The tribe was being murdered and eaten day by day. They offered to pay the king for his help. The king did not accept the payment, but took up the task because it was the will of Allah. The king told the tribe to gather up iron and deposit it near the entrance of two mountains. The king's army cornered the Gog and Magog in between the two mountains and forced them inside the earth. With the iron, they built a great barrier and trapped the wicked creatures. This barrier was sealed shut with a great fire. Since the time of their imprisonment, they've been trying to escape and wreak havoc on the world. Every day they multiply and dig in hopes of getting out. For every one human, there is 999 Gog and Magog. They cannot be killed by weapons, and during the end of days, they will be released on the world. The only way to survive is to run, hide, or be protected by the blood of Christ. Elites all over the world have been building massive bunkers and tunnels. What do they know that we don't? For more entertainment, like and follow.